So I'm sitting here or standing here. I'm standing here. <laughs> and uh, I'm just looking at the beauty of grass and greens. <sighs> nah. Have you ever took time to like just appreciate stuff? I just appreciate anything. Sometimes you get busy. And the danger of busyness is we never take a break. We never slow down. And and, and uh, there's a lot of unaccountable time that passes. Uh, I was having a conversation with a friend the other day. And he was telling me that um, when he first saw The Matrix, he was like, this is exactly what I've been thinking. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about The Matrix, but the whole idea of that movie or behind the movie is, is, is how there is a world system. And basically, the world system is you are born, you live, you die. And some, uh, they like to call it the 1%. I don't know why people call it that. Some people are born more fortunate than others some are born less fortunate than others and some are born middle like in the middle somewhere the whole idea is um i've always wanted to know that there is more to life than living being born and Living or surviving, you should say. Living is much more active. Let's say surviving. You go to school for about six years at first. Six? Yeah, six grades. And then there is another five. So you go to school for about 11 years. Uh, you get to study or aim towards a career that you like when you achieve that career and that's like for like six to five percent of us not everyone has the money and that's not actual stats i'm just calling it off the head right so don't don't bash me for that but the whole idea is i always wondered like if this is just it you go to school and you basically become that thing or you become something good or acceptable because I didn't really have to aim myself, but I ended up fairly good, thank God. But the whole idea is, and then from there you get a house, you get a wife, uh, or you get a husband, if you're a female, and you get children. Some people don't get children, or they, don't, they choose not to make children. And then you live, the sun is coming out. <laughs> and then you live, until you die, you pass on your experiences and your your riches in wealth and in wisdom. But isn't there like more? You know? Just something to ponder, think about. But I believe that there is much more. One of the most revolutionary people that I've known or ever heard about, and I don't know him personally, but I've heard about them is this guy Ravi Zacharias he died uh, a couple days ago I don't know when I'm gonna be releasing this vlog but he died a couple days ago and um yo my initial thought was like this man would have lived a life that was full meaning that he accomplished more than just what society normally says this guy was one of the greatest apologists, apologetics that I've ever um, came across, right? He helped you understood the Bible in ways that, yo, it was, it was crazy. But at the same time, he helped affect so many lives and change so many lives. You know, he died in the 70s. 
So three scores and ten. He lived a full life, literally, and at the same time, he lived a full life in all other senses of the word full. He had a wonderful family, and the dude achieved so many things, not only for himself or for his seed, being that his family, but for the kingdom of God. And that's what I'm trying to say, basically. There's much more to life than what stats show or what the system basically is. Now, we can't escape the fact that there is a system. But my encouragement to you is to live life on full. Like, like live it to the fullest. Accomplish everything until the end. Now, we don't know when the end is. We can't always bet. But live every day with the aim of one, glorifying God. Two, accomplishing something. And three, uh, trying to affect some sort of change or encouragement to somebody. Someone. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I can probably call this one my inner thoughts or my my talks viewed I don't know I'll figure it out by the time I'm typing the caption but hey the life unfold and I say unfold I mean as in on full accomplish those things that you set out but in all things remember God and keep him in your endeavors so that your accomplishments don't feel um, void still because I still believe that you know each and every one of us our main purpose is to live a life that is pleasing unto God right? or a life that acknowledges God and his place in the universe and over everything so yeah this is your boy Valen Shouting out to all the, the people still alive. Let's keep it going. Let's make a change. Let's affect change.